Hey, thanks so much for tuning in to today's Drawing for Youth class. This class is offered as a partnership between the Ann Arbor District Library and the Ann Arbor Art Center, both located downtown Ann Arbor. Hope you're enjoying these videos during these times. I wish we could be together, but I am thankful to have this opportunity to share some online drawing videos for you all to enjoy. So today we're going to be drawing an underwater scene of you as a scuba diver and with all sorts of fish and other sea creatures in the background. So this is my example. I'm gonna walk you through the steps. I would encourage you to grab a piece of paper and whatever materials you enjoy. You could even grab a couple different sheets of paper if you would like. So the first step is going to be drawing the portrait itself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sketch out the head shape, the neck and the shoulders and a little swimming suit here. Um, you could do this part on a separate sheet of paper and then cut it out and glue it onto another sheet of paper where you do your uh, ocean background. It's really up to you how you want to go about this, but um, I also recommend pausing this video at any point so that you can go back and really look at the details of where I'm placing the different facial features, for example, and other details. Okay, so I'm just gonna mark the center of the head shape here, both vertically and horizontally. So that horizontal center line, that's where my eyes should go. And you wanna place those eyes so that there's about an eye shape on either side of the eye as well as in the center. So just to space it out so that they're pretty even, which can be kind of tricky and it doesn't have to be perfect for this. We're gonna put some cool scuba goggles on over top of the eyes anyway, so the, focus won't really be on the eyes to begin with. So then about halfway from those eyes um, or eyebrow line to the bottom of the chin is where the nose is gonna go and then for the bottom of the nose anyway and then about halfway from the nose to the chin is where that middle lip line will be. Now that I have the facial features drawn in, I can go ahead and start adding in my hair. Think about your own hair. What shape does your hair look like? Don't worry about drawing each individual strand of hair, but think of it more as a whole section of hair. We'll color it in later and you can add little strands of detail there, but for now, just think of it as one large shape. All right, I'm gonna add a fun little starfish choker here to go with this theme. And now I'm gonna start adding in the background. So I'm adding in fun blues and lots of wavy lines here. And then from this point too, you can just be adding in whatever fish that you want. You could add fun like sea coral and seaweed, other fish, shark, jellyfish, whales, dolphins, whatever you wanna add. This is your time to really be creative in that background space. You can see what I've added here um, and I skipped ahead just to make it a little bit faster in the video so you don't have to see the whole process, but you can see that some of the colors of the fish I let be more bluish um, while others I let stand out to be more in the foreground. And now from here, I'm just adding in detail. So here's my little strands of hair like I was talking about, but I'm mostly just blocking in the colors and keeping it really simple. So looking at different skin tones, of course, that you can use to describe your skin tone, but try to make it look like you. I think that's the a fun way to do this project where you really customize it and make it look, or personalize it, I should say, really, and make it look more um, and most like you, you can pick the colors that you want for the scuba gear um, and yeah, just have fun with this and enjoy it.